All right, have and have not fans, let's talk about the couple that everyone wants to get back together, even though it definitely doesn't seem like they should be together because we're talking Charles and Candace. So before going further in the video, make sure you take a moment to hit like, hit subscribe, click the bell notification icon and select all. That way you don't miss out whenever I post new content to the channel and follow me on my social media platforms. Links are in the description box below. Is Charles ever going to man up and just talk with Candace? I mean, this is a running theme of any show or movie where mo more often than not, instead of a extended storyline conflict or what have you, more often than not, I know I said that again. I don't know. I'm repeating dialogue like Tyler Perry writing. Usually two characters, two, three, or how many other characters are involved? Tip well, usually two. Instead of these characters conversing with each other in order to find out what's really going on, squash their beef and move forward, they usually send the yes men or the gophers to go for this, go for that, to speak for them. Like, you know, Jim going through these extreme links to get the power of attorney instead of just talking to Hannah one-on-one -on -one as a person to request $500,000. Or in this case, we're talking how Charles has Landon go all the way from like Wisconsin or Michigan all the way down to Georgia to check on Candace instead of just picking up the damn phone and calling her himself. Look, I know he's the president-elect and certain things like, you know, the calls being recorded and all this bull crap, but if those two actually spoke, I feel like it would make things a lot easier because I remember as soon as Landon got there and as soon as uh, Candace assumed that, wait, you know about the pregnancy test? He knows about that? Oh, he, he sent you down here to convince me to get rid of the baby, huh? Okay, okay. That all could have been avoided if Charles simply called her on the phone. It's like, I get it, it humanizes him. Like, regardless of his position in life, he's just like any other guy or anybody who's allegedly in love. You get butterflies, you get nervous. I mean, this is grade school. It's like, you tell your friend, hey, um, go over there and talk with so-and-so to see if she, you know, likes me at all. As opposed to calling her himself. I mean, hell, you had that attractive ass masseuse last week making him forget about Candace instead of just calling her in order to get some, I guess you could say, some form of closure. But I get it. I mean, you stuffed her in the back of a trunk. Well, you had her basically dragged out of your home and stuffed into a trunk. So it's like, yeah, that probably ain't going to end up too well. So it's just one of those situations where I don't really feel bad for Charles because he had, before Oliver came into the picture, Landon was Oliver. Landon was the one telling him about how bad of an idea this was. So everything that's happening to Charles is stuff that he's been warned about, but he wanted what he wanted. Similar to Andy on Sisters. Both characters knew what they were getting into. Gary, okay, to be fair, Andy did not know the extreme circumstances that she ended up in with Gary from the FBI to the abuse and everything, but she knew going into that relationship, he was married. Charles knew that before getting involved with Candace, she was a whore. She was an escort. She was a con artist and he was running for president. So I do not feel sympathy for him. Now, the question is, Honestly, this ain't a long video at all. It's just like, will Charles ever just man up? Nothing, this had nothing to do with the alleged pregnancy or the baby. I don't care about that. When is Charles going to simply man up? Stop trying to get advice from, um, uh, uh, what's his name? Jeffrey Owens character. I literally forgot his name. Um, Senator Conley, Conley. Yeah. Conley Landon ignoring Oliver. Who cares about them? When is uh, Charles going to pick up the phone and call Candace or go see Candace himself? What do you think? I think he will. And then that might lead to a confrontation with Mitch, but that's going to be my next video. So let me know what you think in the comment section below. Is Charles ever going to man up and talk to Candace or not? Thanks so much for tuning in. If you would like to donate to the channel, feel free to do so on PayPal, Cash App, or join Patreon for as little as $1 a month. Thanks so much for tuning in, and I'll talk to you soon.